All right, guys, welcome back. And if you notice where I'm sitting, it is where the red MR2 that I have used to be. Um, I have moved it, and today on this video, we're gonna be doing some upgrades to the MR2, and um, just so I can drive around. It's been sitting in this spot for, I don't know, a couple months now, and uh, it's time to let that baby loose. Okay, so previously in my last video, I've done a lot of work with the VR4 and um, it's been running really great um, on e85 fantastic and it's making a lot of power and making very good noises but um, california has passed this stupid law that says that if i uh, have a modified exhaust here they can technically harass me for it so um yeah we can play with the whole well you know it's not above 95 decibels blah 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 but i really don't want to have that fight until the heat is off because the cops just kind of look under my hood and try to ref me and do all this, you know, all this stuff that's not necessary. So the VR4 has been retired for now. Uh, I'll take it to shows and stuff like that, but as far as daily driving it, not gonna happen. So today, what I'm doing is gonna do some work on that red one right there. So uh, I have that truck I have to wrap still, but that can only be done out in the daylight. Um, so in the meantime, when I come home to work at night, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap the, the MR2 since I don't have another car I'm wrapping at the same time as the uh, as the truck. So um, today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys everything that's wrong with it since it's been sitting there for so long, and then I'm gonna show you how to properly prep a car for wrap. So um, this would be part one of wrapping this MR2 to make it spectacular. Okay, so here we are again with my 91 na mr2 this is definitely not turbo um 1600 if you guys remember if you want to scroll down to when i first got this uh, my videos can show you uh like kind of the day when i first got it i put some uh 90 wheels from uh offer up slash facebook market that i found look there's hamilton again everyone just loves them now can you come say hello? <laughs> That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Okay. So, um, yeah, I painted the wheels and it hasn't been looking too good. When I first painted them, they looked great. But now they're a little trash. So I think I'm going to throw another coat on there and then throw some clear coat. I didn't do, I didn't clear coat it last time. So, uh, yeah, so there's going to be some bad paint that I have to start sanding to get it ready to be wrapped um i'm gonna wrap it in that red color so look look at that Ooh, ooh, ooh! weather stripping rust shipping paint so all of this stuff that's bad for your wrap if you're gonna be wrapping so um yeah gotta sand all of that off so i'm probably gonna take the i'm gonna take the sander wheel to the whole car just so that it's nice and smooth and then i'm gonna wrap it maybe fill these holes we'll see if these holes turn out smooth then i won't bother uh the color that i'm gonna wrap it in is this one here i ordered another roll of the 350z red oh yes so it's gonna match the red perfectly um so all right guys I'm gonna put you guys on the time lapse. I'm gonna start sanding. Then when we'll rinse this car off, and then we'll pull into the garage, and then I'll have some wrapping footage and talk about it um, as I wrap uh, for the for the coming episodes. Okay, guys. So here's what you need to properly prep your car for wrapping. Um, all you need is one of these. This is a just your regular old sander wheel. Um, this can be found at Harbor Freight for like 25 bucks, $30, something like that. Um, and then you just get a whole bunch of these little, these little pads right here. And uh, this is 220 grit. You can go with a 100 grit as well. The 100 grit is a lot coarser. 220 grit is perfect for just getting the, uh, the light problems that this car has. And then you need your respirator mask from, uh, you get one of these from Home Depot. It has a little filter in here and these things are great it will um, filter out all the stuff like you can't smell paint or anything like that so zombie apocalypse nuclear fallout 
I want to get one of these or something stronger. So here we go. I'm going to start sand. sanding progress so far this looks pretty nasty so right here i'm getting a that's like beginnings of rust but um when i'm running my hand against it it's very smooth so it looks like whoever painted this last really just um all they did was just spray paint it <laughs> and then here the front fender is kind of the same thing this is normally when you sand like a properly painted panel it'd be like uh, it'd be like this right so uh you got the clear coat that's pretty much toasted you got the undercoat and then you got the primer coat uh, over here and i barely got down to the primer i barely touched this thing with the uh with the sander and that layer of that light layer of paint just whoo, gone and then what you got under here is a very light layer of um, primer as well. And then this is all bare metal. And you can see beginnings of like, you know, little rust spots and stuff like that. So I think uh, it's probably best if I hit this with some primer first before I even uh, start wrapping it. Um, and then here, uh, the side skirt is pretty good. Um, I bought these authentic bombic side skirts and there was just some scratches like right here and stuff like that so once you sand the scratches away it's just pretty smooth uh, this is, I, can, ooh, I can feel a difference right here so if you run your finger against this and you can feel a difference you're gonna have to go back and re re-sand uh, okay so the door all the flaking paint on the door has now been sanded you want to blend these together very well where you can't don't feel a difference so the only danger when wrapping on a car with old paint is that the paint and the primer might not stick well to the metal. So when you go and put a layer of wrap on it, if you repos if you squeegee it down or if the wrap is sticky and you reposition it, it might peel that paint off and then your piece of wrap is ruined. You don't want to do it on a big piece like on a hood or on like a core pan or anything like that. So um, that's the only danger. So it's sometimes it's better just to go around and sand the whole car <laughs> just so that when you touch the wrap to it nothing peels uh i think this is okay though okay so this back end really bad Oof. so here um you got some clear coat all along this edge right here like that and if you touch your wrap to that stuff it's just gonna oh damn see that if you touch your wrap to that, it's just going to come off right on the wrap and you're going to ruin your whole big old piece that's supposed to go there. So be careful of those. Um, here, these side skirts is going to be needed to be sanded real good. I'll do that off camera as well as the hood. I'll do that off camera as well. And look, I got a hole. What the hell? Look at that. I don't know what's going on here. But that's gonna need some bondo. Um, the wrap will cover that, but you'll 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 still see like an indent there. So you need bondo. With. This is kind of annoying, but it's very light. Maybe I'll go to like a dent specialist or something after. Uh, and then the weather stripping. Oh, the these things are expensive. They're like two hundred dollars or something like that just to get this this little strip on both sides. So I think I'm gonna do is spray some like truck bed lining or something. And then definitely taking this antenna off. And I'm th I think I'm just gonna fill the hole and then wrap it. Okay, so this side will be done next. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, I finished sanding 
pretty much the whole car. I gotta do some more on the hood and stuff like that. I'll do that off camera. And then um, I'm gonna pretty much do some Bondo work on some of the holes that are in the front end. And um, we'll do part two where I pull the car into the garage and I'll start wrapping it. It looks pretty bad right now because that front fender uh, is toast. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna tape off the lights and stuff like that and I'm going to spray this um, with a little bit of primer just because there's so much bare metal that's out there I don't want to get rusted um, so thank you guys for watching and catch me on the next episode where we wrap this car so until next time guys I'll catch you guys later